Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you an Iceland seismic update Wednesday, December 29th, around 11 a.m. Mountain Time, 2021. Now, there have been some interesting seismic storms going on at multiple locations, including a new volcanic system that many of you probably never heard of. The first one we're well aware of is Fagradoshval. The second one is Bartabunga, which just a few hours ago started to pop off a few earthquakes. And the third one is either Hengil or Hrumendatendir. And so let's get right at it. Let's talk about Fagradishfall and the latest update from Volcano Discovery. More and more frequent earthquakes reflect magma intrusion, and it, they are centering on particular regions. So that's where everyone has their eyes on the prize. And here we can see the most recent seismic map and the seismicity below. So overall, the seismic activity has decreased over the last few days, but it is persistent. So they are still waiting for lava to come over, come out on the surface here at Fagadoshval. Now that is the Reykjanes Peninsula here where the aviation color code is orange. And we're also going to talk about Bartabunga, which is up here on the Vatna Yokel Glacier. And the this this lake right here, just south of the lake, there's a seismic swarm, which could be the Hrumendatendur or Hengil. And we'll get to that in just a moment. So here is the volcanic system on that ridge. And they're basically like fissures or stripes here, where we have El Vadorp and the Reykjanes volcano, Fagradosfall on this strip, Kreisjuvik and Brenningsteinfjöll, and then Hengil. And the volcano in question, I think, is lying right here, just south of this lake. Uh, there is another shot of Hengil, and this is the lake. Thingaviatn, or whatever it's called. And here is that seismic swarm just south of the lake where we can see quite a, a bit of activity just happening over the last 12 hours clustered in this region. And it could be Hengil, which has an eruptive history of BEI2 and has not erupted for over 1,800 years or so. And Hrumendatendur, which is a similar eruptive history, but there is no evidence of eruption any time during the Holocene. And then we have Bartabunga which we know has uh, exploded to VEI-6 back in 1477. And that's a big boom. So we want to keep a close eye on Bartabunga. Uh, so first, let's go over to the Vatnioko Glacier here, and we can see the Bartabunga seismic swarm, which is basically a dozen quakes or so, reaching 3.6 magnitude happening in the last six hours, all clustering directly on Bartabunga. So we're keeping a close eye there on Bartabunga. So before we finish up here, I want to draw your attention to this new seismic swarm here, which is quite uh, significant here, clustering in this region. And I believe that this is Hrumendatendur, the volcano. And the reason I believe that is it says it's a small volcanic system located south of the Thingvlaten Lake, which is this lake here, uh, immediately east of the Hengil volcanic system. And now the Hengil volcanic system is here, where these cracks are. And this is directly east and south of the lake. So that is my position that we could be seeing some activity in a volcano that hasn't erupted any time in the last 10,000 years. As well as Bartabunga with a little seismic flurry directly on top of the caldera. And that's a boom to Iceland knowledge for the last 24 hours. Hours of powers. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people and keep your eye on Iceland like we are. Links will be below. Be safe. We love you. That's boom.